Tom here from Essential RC. Thanks for tuning in for another product test. Not a drive test, not a flight test this time. This is a test of a complementary product for the hobby, I would say, because during the, particularly during the winter months when I'm flying outside during the day and it gets dark and we want to socialize in the evening and get around a campfire, the problem with a campfire is that it can generate a lot of smoke and at the end of the evening you do your clothes smell quite a lot so i did on youtube come across um, these new range of products um, they're bonfires but they are virtually smokeless so there are several companies that do this and uh, the one that we really liked was solo stove they do three versions of their fire pits so we went with the bonfire the, the largest one they do, it really is enormous and consumes quite a lot of wood quite rapidly. So we've gone for this version. The, the other thing about this is because of its size, it is portable. The largest one is not portable. So it could be ideal for carting around when we go flying at different events and shows and, whatever, and clubs and whatever. What we get, we also got some of the accessories as well. So here we've got a cover for it to protect it if we store it outside. We've also got this uh, spark arrester so that if there's we put in fuel that maybe will generate sparks, then this will make sure that they don't spit out onto anybody. And we've also got some tongs here that we can use for toasting marshmallows. Super excited about that and anything else that we want to cook over it as well. So we're going to unbox and see what it looks like. Okay, so everything unboxed. Let's just go through everything really quickly. So starting with the cover, which is a separate item that we got because we might be storing it outside. So it protects it from the rain and the, and the elements if we do store it outside. The interesting thing with this is that uh, it has a comes with a, that metal frame inside, collapsible metal frame, and it does that because it keeps the the top rigid, so that if it rains, it means it retains its shape, and the, the rainwater flows off the top rather than pools on the top, which is really important. So we'll put that to one side. This is the um, prevents the spitting that I was I was talking about if you put fuel in it that might do that so if you're sitting around it and you want the benefit of the heat to keep you warm then it will do that but this will prevent any embers being spat out now it's an additional item and it also comes with these because this will obviously get very hot so it comes with these two tools so that you can lift off lift that off I might not be, I think it, maybe you use it like that. You lift it off like that, put it down and then put more, more fuel in and then you can put that back on, on top and continue your party. They say in the instructions that it's important that these do not line up with these and there are actually indentations to help with that alignment. You can see them on the side there. So you line those up and then it will sit properly on, on top and you won't have to touch it. Then I'll, let's just take off this whole assembly that we bought as an extra item. Then this is the actual fire pit itself. So if you come closer, Claire, Claire on camera today. So you can see it's, it's pretty large. Uh, we haven't read the instructions on actually filling it. We're going to do that and we're going to have a nice evening in front of this uh, later on. But it does come with the base to, you know, because you might put it on a surface that you don't want. This is going to have quite a lot of heat underneath it, obviously. So it needs to be off the ground. So this does come with it and sits within side, inside it like that. So keeps it that distance off the ground. So if you want to put it on grass, I suspect, and you don't want the grass to be affected by the heat from underneath, then this probably protects the grass. All right, so that's the basic fire pit. Then what we also got were these 
what do we call these clays? Tongs or skewers? Skewers, I think they call them. <laughs> Weapons. I think you could, we could have a good sword fight with these later on. But obviously, this is going to generate a lot of heat, so you want to put your meat or your marshmallows, as we're going to do later on, and just hold them over so they toast really and cook really nicely. So that's a pack of how many, Claire? Four. four. Pack of four. Separate item, but well worth going if you're going to cook over it. The, and this also comes with it, with the basic fire pit. This is the bag to carry it with. So you can see how big the, the bag is, and it fits in this quite nicely. It's got a drawstring at the top, so you can just you know pull it shut and, and carry it. So really, this is going to be fantastic when we head down to the beach. You know, we, we, uh, then we let it cool down in the evening and then we can take it back. So that's it. They're the basic components. Now we're going to go out into the garden that we've spent months working on this year. And this, this is really what we had planned for one corner of our new lovely garden. So we're now going to have a nice social bit of a drink, toast a few marshmallows on this new fire pit in the garden. See you in a moment. Right, so we're outside with the solo stove. We'll take our cover off first. This is the first, literally the first time we've used it. So we take this off. Okay, I think actually, while we're starting up, it says that you should take this ring, ring off. So we take that off, put that over there. And we're gonna start this, Claire, with these, uh, these a few of these. We'll use a good few to get it started. These are natural fire starters, I think. So we put these in. <clears throat> and come a bit closer if you want, Claire. And a couple of chunks of wood. And I've got my burner. Turn that on. I think that we'll see if this, this works. Alright, now we just let that catch, I think. The secret with this is they tell me you should not see these holes at the top, you should not go beyond those. So obviously this is going to take a while to get going, so we'll come back in a little bit and uh, we'll see, see how well it's doing. Right, so a few minutes later so we've added in about another four logs in on top of the two or three that we'd added in to get it going. So we will come back in a little while and see. You can see that it's it's throwing off quite a lot of smoke at the moment. But Nick, you you Nick's within I don't know within a meter of it, aren't yeah, you? Fine. And you and you and you're fine yeah. at the moment. But obviously it will die down and hopefully start. Um, not so much of the smoke will come out, but we'll be back in a short while. Right, here we are, so after about half an hour, I reckon. It's still generating a bit of smoke, uh, but it's not unpleasant. And I guess the, the main thing people ask about this is what size you should get. And this is the medium sized one, as I was saying earlier. And we're all sitting fairly close to it. Yeah. What, one or two meters away, Claire? Yeah. And it's generating heat. But it's nice. But it's, it's nice. Warm. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, you can feel, definitely feel it from this distance. And we're drinking our mulled wine to keep an extra bit of a bit of warmth. But it's going well. So I reckon this is going to die down and it will turn to charcoal and just start throwing off heat rather than so much flame. But it's uh, it's kind of entertaining the fact that it throws off so much flame, isn't it? As yeah, well. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing to watch. Okay, so, <laughs> so the you're right, Harry. So the the fire has died down a little bit now. We're all sitting quite close to it and really enjoying it. Uh, but it's time to toast some marshmallows. So um, 
Claire, you've you show us there. You've s screwed together one of those, and they're nice and long, they're aren't they? Yeah, nice. Nice and long, so you can virtually toast the marshmallows from where you're sitting. Yeah. <clears throat> Which means you don't have to get too close. But the first thing Harry has to do is to oh. remove. And he's got hiccups, poor chap. I don't know where you got the hiccups from. <laughs> Sorry, it's not very it's good the, for filming, is, is it? it the, it's the excitement. <laughs> so you're going to use those that came with the, was it anti-spark oh, yeah. lid on top to remove that? Yes, because mm -hmm. we don't want the marshmallows dripping onto that. So you, you lift that off. Very good. And then, OK, go over to Mum and uh, open the marshmallows. <clears throat> and show us show us how it's done. You're just going with one. You're not doing double. I'll, I'll do a trial run. I want to get the per perfect char, <laughs> char. <laughs> <laughs> on the outside. Right, there you go. Do it for where I'm sitting. There you go. Ah, thank you. There we go. Ooh. Aren't you so you're supposed to pull it out, you're supposed to just pull the crispy layer off and then put it back in. Show me, show me, show me. That does look good, has. Alright, come on then, taste one. How does it taste? <coughs> oh, very good. Really? Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Oh, we've got more mulled wine to turn up as well. More mulled wine has turned up. Oh, wow. This is just turning into the perfect evening, isn't it? Very nice. Well done, Nick. Oh, dear. Okay, we'll be back in a little while. Okay, Claire, <laughs> here you go. Show us your technique. I'm not sure. Up high, so it doesn't get too hot. Slowly right, you're listening rotate. to this, everyone. Keep it up high, not too low. Slowly rotate. Slowly rotate. And just keep an eye so it doesn't get too bad. Because we have had one spontaneously combust. <laughs> oh my word. Now. Oh, 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 I think that might be about it. Yeah. How do you. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what you're doing, it just seems to go all stringy. That's, that's art. Look at that. Is that good? That's very nice. <laughs> and they're these uh, mo American monster marshmallows, aren't they? Mm. Very nice. And um, it's died down now. Wow. Still generating lots of heat, no isn't smoke. it? But no smoke. Just fantastic. And even on a nice British winter's evening, keeps you uh, really warm, even from that distance. You're sitting about a metre away from it. Okay. Keep going. All right, so we'll be back probably tomorrow morning to show you what's left. I think we're going to be doing this for the next couple of hours. So here I am after the the, the morning after and uh, a little bit hungover from all the mulled wine last night and far too many marshmallows toasted but wanted to show you at the end of this review how much ash is actually left in the bottom of the solo stove. Now the thing to point out was that at the end of the evening when, the, the, uh, when we were all done we went indoors, watched a film for about an hour and a half, came out and it all burnt the wood and it was cool to the touch so I could actually put the cover back on it. Which would be really good but let's take this off now.
and you can see there's not actually a lot of ash inside it's discolored I think that's to be expected but then take, take this off take off the fire ring and it's really good so there's not a lot of cleanup to do afterwards and certainly nothing nothing underneath <coughs> so there you go that's the solo stove bonfire the link for this is in the video description and the pinned comment if you're interested in looking at the price and potentially buying it but thanks for watching this essential rc burn test fire test <laughs> not not what we normally do but uh, a fantastic product and we really enjoyed our evening yesterday and we'll be using the bonfire a lot more so thanks for watching see you next time